So if you know that the you can you don't like his mother, don't get married to him. When you want to get married, you are not just getting married to your husband. Just like you too, you don't want to get married to somebody and trash your parents. Like the person your husband is, who you are getting married to, was raised by someone, and that is this mother and father. Like she invested time, she invested our life. I would say, like I usually always like to use that experience. That there are things that she could have probably done with her time or her life if she never had your your husband. So she did. She has spent like some people、um, forgot their ambition. For example, she wanted to be a nurse, but she has not done this before giving birth to、um, your husband. And after they've had children. She couldn't go back to school. That is a denier of her something like a life ambition to raise these children.、Uh, uh, the, you know, we had different stories about、uh, on Mother's Day. We usually come up with a lot of good stories of how mothers are sacrificing. But when you are doing that, you should remember that it is not one-sided. The same way your own mother invested, sacrificed, and did a lot for you is the same way your husband's mother also did. So you cannot come、um, and get married to his son after two and a half decades or three decades, and think that you can push her aside or push her ideas or identity aside. That is not going to work. So if you know that the you can you don't like his mother, don't get married to him. <laughs> It is as simple as that. If you know you don't like his mother. Don't bother to go ahead with the marriage, except you know that oh, I can adjust now because there are several、um, poisonous stories, especially about wives and mother-in-laws. Some people even pray that their mother-in-law should die before they get married. But when I hear people say, ah, like in girls' hostel, like some people will be like,、ah, I just pray that I don't even have one, or they will say, oh, she's lucky, her mother-in-law was dead before they got married. I just quickly make it a joke and remind people that. Just don't pray to have a son, because <laughs> you also don't want to die before they get married. So, if you don't have a son, it's a good、uh, thing for you. If this is your mindset, that it's better your mother-in-law dies before you you get married to his son. So, it shouldn't be a negative relationship. It should actually be a positive relationship. And in most cases, they say that. Nobody knows the son better than their mom, especially before they got married, because、uh, this mother has taken care of this boy, so she knows a lot about his son. So,、um, if you know you don't want, even if、um, your husband is, for example,、um, your mother-in-law has、uh, maybe some features you don't like, maybe it is her nose. Or her mouth, or something like that, and your husband does not have it, and you think, thank God she doesn't look like his mother. Just don't forget that there is something called recessive genes. <laughs> so if you know you don't want your kids to look like your mother-in-law, just don't, like it is not,、um, it is not by force. Like that is not the only man you can get married to in the world. So if you know that you cannot. Cope with your mother-in-law. You cannot appreciate her. You cannot.、Um, you cannot treat her like your mother. Just don't go ahead with the relationship.